Hey guys, Kid Gear here. Adrian today for the Tech World. Today I have a I want to do a little video on a tech question. I know I haven't really responded to a lot of emails lately, but I thought I should start off by doing this because uh, my sibling, actually my sister, uh, is looking into buying an HP Mini, and she wanted my recommendation on. She wants to know the difference, you know, what she needs between the base and the recommended configuration. Um, I'm gonna go through and customize it a little bit, to show you what uh. This is obviously relevant to what your opinion, what power you need, what you're going to need the netbook for, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so uh, here's, the, here's the HP Mini 1, 110 XP edition. Um, and I went with the XP because XP she's used to. I mean, there's Vista if you really want to load uh, Vista on your uh, netbook. Or you can go for Windows 7 if you're, you you know, want to go for that. But it starts at $329, which is uh, relatively cheap. And then you can get the uh, recommended configuration that's... Uh, probably extra speed stuff like that at 429 and I'm gonna go ahead or 439 I should say and I'm gonna go ahead and configure it show you what um or would customize it too and she wants the uh this one right here the pink chick uh model so uh this is uh I believe this doesn't cost extra it should be free and you get special offers if you uh, are a student so look into that and you can save 50% on the uh, six cell battery and the three cell which is longer battery life which is something you may be looking for if you're a college student or anything like that so it has all the specs right here in terms of the size and everything like that. Uh, you can read that if you're interested. But um, she wanted to know mainly is right here with the base configuration if she needed that or if she wanted to go for the recommended. I'm going to go start off at the base and customize that one. Uh, so first off, uh, it's going to start off at 349 And uh, first thing that's going to make you go through is the components and the color. She wants this one right here. So and then we're going to the operating system, which it only comes with Windows XP. You can install Star at Windows 7 if you need to install that. And so I'm going to go ahead and next again, go to the processor. Um, and since it's only a $25 upgrade, the 1.66, which is the max uh, processor that I have for this, I would select this because it's faster. You know, that little bit, even though there's, you know, points uh, 1.6 and there's 1.66. And since it's only $25 extra uh, and, you know, higher megahertz, uh, you know, it's worth it. Now in terms of memory, uh, you can only get one gig. I believe the system supports two gigs, so you can buy a RAM stick after if you need that to get that extra memory boost. So I'm gonna go with the one gig model. Hard drives. Now uh, here's the difference. Um, I uh, this is really the price kind of difference. You can add forty five dollars if you want the smaller but faster SSD drive. Uh, if you guys have seen the, uh, I'm not sure if they're using the Intel X twenty five M. SSD that I have in my computer, but basically if you don't know what SSD is, if you haven't seen my videos, it's a solid state drive, meaning it's much smaller, it's flash memory, it's not an actual physical disk, nothing's really spinning, so it's going to be quieter, it's going to be a way quicker boot, probably like, you know, 10, 15 second boot times and shutdown times, even quicker than that. Your applications will launch, you know, way faster, and you get a good stable performance. thing you're lacking here, it's only 32 gigabytes, so if you're going to only be using this for quick notes, uh... Uh, maybe a little bit of video on the go if you need to record something. Uh, and, you know, not too much space if you're going to get this SSD. It is much faster, but it's only 32 gigs. So that's up to you. Um, now, if you want something more, you know, bigger, a good amount size for your notes, music, uh, and some hours of video, you can go with a 160 gigabyte uh, hard drive, which is decent storage. Uh, and as you see here, it can hold 19,000 photos, 24,000 songs, or 27 hours of video. So it depends on your opinion there. I'm going to go with 160 because I know my sister won't need the, uh, you, you know, you can shell out the extra money, but she would rather probably need the storage in my opinion. So that's 160. And last is a graphics card, which is uh, something she really doesn't need. She just needs this, uh, the Intel uh, Media Accelerator is the only one it comes with. But that one gives you the option to plug into a monitor. So when you go to, you know, when you go back home, you can put this on your desk and plug it into another monitor, a bigger monitor, to uh, you know do what you need to do. Maybe you need to transfer the files to another computer, anything like that. So um, that's my recommendations for the actual components, and that leads us around 374. But we're gonna go look at the accessories here, and uh, these are something you know you need if you need one, you buy it. Uh, you probably might want to go for a mouse if you're not used to typing on a you know, a uh, keyboard like the HP Mini, it does take use to uh, getting, you know, to type on the keyboard because these keyboards are really small, and this is something I noticed when I was reviewing the uh, Dell Mini. Uh, and if you need a printer to hook it up to at home, you can go ahead and go for that. Uh, so you, there's some savings you can get over here. But other than that, it only prices you around $374, or 
which is really uh, cheap and you can hit review and buy and as you see here here are the specs that I spec'd it out for for my sister's needs you get the Microsoft so uh, uh, productivity software the three cell lithium-ion battery which I'm gonna go ahead and quickly see if I can edit that so see uh, okay here you go uh, this is probably one thing I didn't check out here you probably want to price this also the, the six cell lithium ion now if you are a student I believe this is the one where you can get the five fifty percent off the one cell uh, the one three cell and the one six cell lithium ion battery so if you're a student like she is you can take advantage of this uh, much more useful because you get up to six hours of battery life compared to the three hours um, so you can get fifty percent off there uh, the price is going to be off but um, after the savings that should you know count off so I'm gonna go back to review and buy see what else I need to uh, check out here where is review and buy there you go uh, one gigabyte of RAM 160 gigabyte hard drive 10.1 display which is relatively pretty big a wireless G card that should get you know you know, decent Wi-Fi signal if you need to use the internet uh, and which your you know college should provide internet if they have that and so again if you're a student take advantage of that six cell battery because that is gonna last you longer and uh, other than that, guys, those are the way I would spec it out. If you want to send me questions, go ahead and email me, adrianstech at gmail.com with your question, your recommendation, something you need to know. And I will go ahead and choose one, probably weekly or something like that, and uh, try and get your questions answered. Anyways, I uh, hope this helps uh, you know, anyone out looking for a laptop, especially in the notebook category. And I hope uh, this helps out my sister if she's watching this. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next video.